out there not collected and eventually when it rains again it washes it all through it just look at the banks of the Odor River. You can see plastics embedded in the ground. So sad indeed it is. The question of burning uh, plastics in this country has come uh, key on the agenda. Now, there, around the world, there are six lagoons. The Blue Lagoon in Iceland, the Camino in Malta, Laguna Colorada in Bolivar, Lighthouse Reef in Belize, uh, Nayuna Levu in Fiji, and Indian River uh, Lagoon. Also, the Omaha Park in La Lagoon, and in Ghana, you would have Asin Kusha in the central region. What is striking about all these six aforementioned lagoons is that they charge thousands of dollars. And they're also able to preserve nature and wildlife and enhance tourism in many different ways. These lagoons propel lovely romance, languid relaxation, and rejuvenate uh, recreation. So that's the story we have here. And as the clouds gather and the rains are about to come down, you can clearly, clearly see uh, that danger perhaps could be looming. But also on the side of this, we saw a shocking thing that I need to bring to your attention open defecation is still on in spite of the fact that we have spoken many times about it that it is not the best thing to do i'll be joined shortly by samuel who yesterday was assaulted when he saw somebody defecating openly at 2 p.m in the afternoon and he thought he had to speak about it he was punched in the face and there's a police report to prove to that so someone will join me shortly and sorry if i'm ruining your breakfast but these are very nasty pictures from the kwame Nkrumah circle people openly defecate here even in the afternoon samuel is here with me samuel uh is it was assaulted yesterday samuel uh choco how are you doing my brother i'm fine master can you explain what happened here yesterday yes i'm about down through in the afternoon who is calling Mr. Lucky? Going to toilet over here. I said, oh, Mr. Big Man, why? Why are you coming to toilet over here? He said, Why? I'm a fool. Am I getting crazy? My mother. So I report to the police. The moment I report, he's follow me. Then you use my phone, hit on the ground. So I take medical from the police and go to the hospital. Yes. Why, why did you go to the police? Did he beat you? Did he push yeah, you? He punched me. He punched my, he punched my, my front of my eye. Why did he punch? He punched my this side. Okay. So I take the police report. Then I go to the hospital yesterday but but the, the, the phone was smashed in the police station no the phone is here he used the phone I was, i'm talking to the policeman i leave the phone in the the, the table okay he you take the, the phone hit on the ground and this was in the police station the police which station. police station new plan police station over here and he hit it on the, the on the so ground. What, what did the police do when the you police said i should go in hospital and come back have you gone back yes i just i'm going now i want to give the report back to them but how often do you see people defecate here? They always do. You also you try to recycle them. They always every day. They are always coming to toilet over here. Mm. So I you try to inform the AME people, mm. but I don't know. Okay. Because they, they, they are expecting them. They will come here, but they refuse. So this is the report that we have. It's uh, signed by DS uh, Detective Sergeant Alassan Abdullahi. It's from the New Plan uh, Police Station. It's dated 23rd of June 2019. That's yesterday, Sunday. And the medical officer of any government hospital's attention is being called to see to Samuel Choco uh, of Circle, uh, who complains that he was assaulted. And, and there you can have it. The doctor also is signed there. Miss Victoria Aguze is a principal physician assistant. Okay, so uh, from the Kornishi Police. It says client was uh, uh, with above name reported to Kanisha Polyclinic with a high uh, of, of what, uh, high history, history, I beg your pardon, of assault. On examination, clients are swollen pain in the face. Clients also complain of severe headache. Clients are seen and treated. And that's the, the report there. So while we are looking forward for citizens uh, to be active in the fight uh, against insanitary conditions, you have some unscrupulous people also deciding to uh, come at them. The hashtag we're using for this campaign on TV3 is garbage out. But as I always say, if you see something, say something. And will such lawlessness continue to make progress in our country, especially when the president has said that by the time he leaves office, Accra should be the cleanest city in Africa. Take a look behind me. Patches of water there. It has filled in there. And people are actually plying their business there. This is not good. How can we make this better? How can we uh, stop perennial flooding? How can we, for example, 
and properties are not destroyed and lives are not put under threat. Johnny Hughes, TV3 News, Odona.